check one, two. Here we go. Platform volume two, checked in with SPL. What's up? How are you? Great to finally meet you. I've I know. I've seen your Instagram and you are a character on there. What kind of character? Well, you're more of a character <laughs> in person, actually. <laughs> Honestly, you, you get in here and you light up the room, which is great. Uh, I'm not pregnant. <laughs> I'm going for a different reason. It's the highlight. <laughs> so let's talk a little bit about you, your music. Yes. Um, you know, you've been in the scene in Perth for a, a, a while now. Um, where did music start for you, you know, growing up? Oh, well, I've been doing music since I was in high school, middle school. But obviously when you're in high school, you, you're kind of stuck in one genre because everyone just plays guitar mm -hmm. or drums. And I've always loved all sorts of music, but I kind of was in a rock band in school and then yeah. after school, which is really grunge. So like Evanescence, Paramore with like a bit of AFI and like crazy. Everyone like, was into that I mean, music. Yeah, though. we all had the side fringe. Yes. The, the striped the top. The, black hair, yeah, down the eye. The whole thing. Mm -hmm. I was into it. But my heart was in R&B and I'd mm -hmm. grown up with that through my mum. She yeah. always listened to that stuff. So I was like, how am I going to, how am I going to go solo? How am I going to find my way in this R&B journey mm -hmm. so i just decided to put out some youtube videos and um i met one of my producers aj lyric he's pretty much my main producer yeah. at the moment he's amazing uh and he just found me and he was like let's work together and i was like let's do it yeah it was my first sort of thing uh even be nasty i was on one of his songs with doe related and mm -hmm. that was a great experience and i just gained my confidence and decided this is it like i've got to really push for this yeah so, yeah, that was pretty much where it started. But music's always been... A passion of yeah, yours. Yeah, it's never changed. My dream's never changed at all. Platform's all about giving <laughs> uh, artists, local artists, the, the platform to, you know, be able to perform to not only their, their own fans, but also to fans of other artists that are coming to the show. Do you remember your first performance? Yeah. And how, and how, did, it, how did it go? I remember my first performance uh, in general was I was at Ellington Jazz Club. Great jazz club. But I was there for my band. Okay, yeah. So, and because I didn't, I was always afraid of really being, not being myself, but just sort of, I didn't want to hide in the background anymore, you know? Mm -hmm. But I always felt like, even though I was the front person, am I, like, am I supposed to move? Like, do I move? So yeah. I just kind of stood there and I sang, but... Um, so it was it was a learning curve for me because I was like, well, you can't just stand there. Yeah. You've got to move around. I'm like, you want to move. Why are you standing there? Mm -hmm. So that really taught me how to become a front person. So I really, even though that gig for me personally was, wasn't amazing yeah. because I wish I did more, it really uh, made me the person I am now on stage and I'm so much more confident mm -hmm. and I just... I'm not afraid of anything anymore. Like I'm scared, yeah. obviously, you know, but I'm not afraid to just be who I am. So what, you know, October 11th, Jackrabbit Slim, Platform 2, uh, Volume 2, what does the, the crowd, what should they expect from you going from, you know, performing at Ellington's and being that front woman that wasn't ready to move? Mm. What's your show going to be like now? It's, I'm going to take people on an emotional journey. Mm -hmm. <laughs> um, it's, it's going to be everything. It's just going to tap into, I feel like at least one person in the audience will uh, be able to understand one song and relate to it. Each song is relatable mm -hmm. because I've been through it, but people have been through it and they're all different. They're all, um, there's R&B, there's a bit of pop in there. Uh, I've got some new stuff that I'm going to be showing as well that I'm going to be- Unreleased stuff? Yeah, a little bit of unreleased. All right. So, yeah, I'm really excited about that. Um, mm. I just feel like, it's time, and I, I think this is going to be one of the best shows I've ever done. Yeah, yeah. I like to hear that. You, yeah. you obviously, you uh, earlier this year released your first EP, yes. uh, the X Files. Yes. So obviously, we're going to be getting some of those tracks at the yeah. show. That project, you doing music for so long, and then finally getting to release your first solo EP. What's that feeling like for you, getting to put that out for the world? Amazing. It took me four years to put that EP out, mm -hmm. uh, ten tracks, but it was because I didn't. I wanted it to be perfect. And then I realized at the end of the day, I'm a perfect, like perfectionist, like nothing's ever going to be, be, it's perfect. never going to be right. And I thought, this is the time. This is now I am ready for this. I've gone through a lot of like crazy stuff in my life. 
Uh, and I just felt like it was time and it's the best thing I ever did. And mm. I'm so ready for this new EP to come out. Uh, it's going to be seven tracks mm -hmm. and it's just a completely different uh, vibe to X-Files. Yeah. So I'm really excited. Have you got a name for the new EP yet? I do. It's called Party Girl. All right. Yeah. So, yeah. So the X-Files is more the story of like the emotional ride of going through shit. Mm -hmm. And then this is like the rejuvenation of yeah. like SPL, ready to enjoy her shit. Yes. Yes. So in comparison to the music, the tracks that are on X-Files, what would you say about the music that's going to be on this new this new project? This is just a bunch of summer bops. Okay. You know, in the X-Files, it was very like, oh, I was depressed, then I was like angry, then I was sad, then I was like, oh, I don't need you. Mm -hmm. And now it's like, I'm just living my best life as myself, working through, like doing things that I need to do for myself, mm -hmm. being confident, going out, just appreciating the small things in life. Yeah. Yeah, it's really good. Who are your influences uh, in music, maybe even now in comparison to kind of like growing up and like you said, being more in the rock bands, they have like the emo kind of stage. Who did you look at then and then who do you kind of look at now that you kind of draw any inspiration from? It's funny because I still kind of stick to my roots, yeah. you know, like I still love the old school R&B, like I'm a big En Vogue fan, mm -hmm. you know, I love me some Aretha. Uh, uh, I love Gloria Estefan. She's mm -hmm. not even R and B, but she's yeah. great. She's fun. Um, you can find insp inspiration anyway. You can, mm -hmm. you can, and I really do. And it makes me who I am as an artist now. But I also still love my JoJo and a little bit of uh, Ashanti. Mm -hmm. She, she's always going to be perfect. I'm always going to love her. Yeah. You got a track "Moving On" featuring Bert, uh, Bertie yeah, Anderson. Anderson, which I absolutely love. Thank you. Um, what's that track about to you? That one's very like I'm sick, like I'm not taking crap anymore, you mm -hmm. know. And I thought he was the perfect person to be on that track as well because he'd been through a lot of similar stuff to me. Yeah. And uh, yeah, I think it's just great because it, it says it all in the title. Moving on, mm -hmm. like I, I'm, I don't need it. I was sucked in, and I don't know why. And yeah. I, I just don't need it anymore. Yeah. And I think it's great. I think it's an empowering song. Where does your drive come from now? You know, you putting out music and you know put out your first EP what's the drive to continue for you I just think it's my life purpose mm -hmm. I've just never changed my dream it's always been the same music is just therapy you mm -hmm. know and I think a lot of musicians can say that you know that's how we write music we go through shit and we we get through it through mm -hmm. creating amazing music so yeah I think it's just the fact that I know it's my purpose, I'm very, I have a very strong feeling about it. It's just never changed. And also, yeah, I guess just for my friends to be inspired. Yeah. Because I have a lot of friends that are like, I don't know where I want to go in my life. I don't know what to do. And I'm like, you know, I'm fortunate enough to know what I want to do. I don't know, like, yeah. I don't know where it's going to go. Yeah. But I'm optimistic. Uh, and I just want them to be like, if she can do it, I can do it. Do your friends call you Sam or do they call you SPL? Okay, they're starting to call me SPL <laughs> more now. So, but I'm just so I'm just like when people call me SPL, I'm like, yeah, okay. Yeah. Where does yeah, SPL come from? It's actually my full name. Okay, so Samantha, Samantha Page Lucas. Page Lucas. But um, I used to go to a lot of parties in school, and um, I had a big group of friends that they just all started calling me SPL because my name was too long. Yeah, I was like, I didn't even tell you to call me my my whole name. You could just call me Sam you if could you just wanted. Just call me Sam, but no, nah, they were like, no, nah, two unisex. Let's switch it up spl was your party name and i'm like all right and just stop yeah well i'm excited yeah. to see you because i know that you performed um with uh hit 929 and you did the dockers game yeah. for thousands of people but i feel like this is going to be an amazing performance for yeah. you yeah yeah i'm really excited because i just i just want people to it's so great to sing your own songs you mm -hmm. know at the at the game it was amazing but i did a cover yeah so i feel like there's so much more for people to see mm -hmm. and they have no idea yet. even well, i even i surprised myself i'm like oh did i do that yes, every I, day oh, God, i did <laughs> you should be though you should be surprising yourself because it means you're pushing yourself to that next level yeah yeah well, That's I'm excited I'm to, to see you out here October 11th. Oh, Everyone's going to find out exactly what you are going to perform. And we really appreciate you being a part of this movement. I appreciate you guys for having me. I'm so excited. I've known Jason forever. Yeah. And he, he helped me at the beginning. And like we're still together. And yeah, I just want to eat chicken with him all the time. Well, that's what it's all about. <laughs> this the, the, you know, platform's all about growing these relationships and making a community yeah. of artists that kind of stick together. So appreciate you being a part of it. I appreciate you. I'm so happy to finally meet you. Yes. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> cool. Woo! Yeah, no, we're doing it anyway. Great job. Thank you. See, Thanks that's the perfect, that's the perfect kind of interview right there.